Then I have, let me see. I have a couple questions. And this one says, how was your first day at your first UX UI design job? Um, did you get imposter syndrome? If so, how long did it take you to fully be confident in the role? That's a great question. That is a good question. Um, yeah, no, I feel like I've had imposter syndrome my whole life, like in any position I've ever been in. Like, that's been pretty consistent. Like you start into a new job, like, and you're like, oh my gosh, like, what am I doing? Um, but um, it really depends on like, I think for me, like, there's a huge difference, like in between the two UX positions that I have like worked with in. Um, so like startup environment, like it's very much like you are like the master of none and the master of all at the same time. Like you're doing a bunch of different roles and you're like, oh, this isn't even necessarily like within my UX scope. Like I'm like, I remember like at one point I was doing our Facebook, which was hilarious, but um, you know what I mean? And then like, you know, if you're working in a larger, more established company, like you have a very niche role, right? Like you're like, I am doing exactly this task. Like, and I know, like, I need to learn everything I can so I can be like the expert in this, like this niche, like it's called a vertical, but it, it really depends on like what the company is like. I think even in, within industries, it's really different. Um, so um, like I, I, would I say like, I'm completely confident in my role still? Like, no, like I'm still learning definitely. But I think that's the nice part about UX is like a lot of the starter, like when you're jumping into a project, like you're doing research, right? So it's almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy. Like you have to ask yourself, like as the designer, like, okay, what do I need to learn so that I can understand our users? And then you're building your own knowledge base because you have to do the research already. So it's like, it's expected of you to sit down with different stakeholders. It's expected of you to do background research on the on the product that you're working for. So I think that is the nice part, right? Like it's part of your job to literally like learn stuff and be more confident. Um, it's built into the system. So, but every company's onboarding is, is really different. Like I've had friends who also are designers who like their onboarding process was like literally a one day thing. And then others, like they didn't like touch Figma for like the first four months of their position. So I think it really depends. And was your onboarding like longer or was it like super short too? Startup was super short. It was just like, hey, like I saw, I like your designs, like come, come do this. <laughs> basically yeah um and then and it like changed you know like one day i'd be doing this and then our founder would be like no actually like i really want this done like pulled off our like we're grooming the backlog like we want this now and that's highest priority um and in my current position um onboarding has been very nice and structured like we have weekly design uh, meetups with like our entire design team we have one-on-ones like absolutely like flawless, like, app, like exactly what I wanted, which is literally like a, a company that's like, okay, like now we're like working as a team. We're all looking at each other's designs. We're giving feedback. And like, here's you working with your UX manager, meaning with marketing, like on a larger scale. Um, so yeah. So I think that on my onboarding process at my current position was like absolutely no complaints. So.